Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the video, welcome to the vlog. Today is the first day we're going out, testing out the DJI Pocket 3. And we've got Subway right behind us. A little bit of a test of the audio. Let's see, I'm sure it's pretty good. See how the image looks. First impressions, it's nice to it's nice to not have to use my phone. It's nice to not have to use my my big my big camera. You know, this is uh, really a treat to hold. Very lightweight. I don't know if we can walk yet. Yeah, let's walk. Can you hear me? 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 It's kind of an extreme situation. I don't know if I don't know if you'd really use it in that scenario, but uh, worth a shot. Worth a shot, right? I will say it is kind of interesting to use the joystick to turn the camera like that. It is pretty interesting, but. Uh, Face tracking feature is also nice as well. It gives you the option to just look at the lens and not drift off into the, not drift off into looking at the, uh, what's it called? Viewfinder, the screen. But uh, yeah, like right now I can, I know it's tracking me. I thought that would have been a, I thought that would have been a, uh, a gimmicky feature of the face tracking, you know? I don't know if we're centered though. So, yeah, so far, I'm still not 100% on this thing. I'm still not 100%. I think that it's really good for things like this, where you're walking and talking to it, but I'm not really sure if it's, I'm not sure what, what else it's good for. You know, it's great you can walk and talk to it, right? super lightweight you don't have to rely on your phone you don't have to carry a heavy camera but I don't know super interesting actually let's walk this way let's walk this way it says that it's supposed to be supposed to be good in low light I don't really know what you can expect for low light with a one inch sensor camera I wouldn't expect much definitely not a full frame camera but Maybe it's better than the phone. Fat matter of fact, let's check the phone. DJI Pocket 3 over here. iPhone 15 Pro right here. And we're on the front facing camera. Cinematic mode on the iPhone 15 Pro. DJI Pocket 3, just only camera. Let's start walking. And here's the audio from the DJI. Here's the audio from the phone. Which one looks better? And here's where the decision is going to be really hard because you're always carrying this thing around with you, right? Um, it's probably not going to be the best in loud situations. Low light, it really doesn't matter. They're both going to be pretty decent at low light. Not going to be a full frame camera though, like a ZV-E1, A7S III, nothing like that. Not even a crop sensor. But uh, is this thing worth paying 600 bucks for? and uh, just being able to film yourself? Or should you just go with the new phone that you have in your pocket? Speaking of which, even though these things are lightweight, my shoulders are burning right now. <laughs> Particularly to my right shoulder because I'm just holding the phone. But uh, yeah, I know which one I'd want to use if it was raining. I know which one I'd want to I wouldn't want to drop either one of them, but I know which one I've dropped in the shower. I know which one I would want to use in the snow. And it's not this one. It's not the Pocket 3. It's this one. That's another major downside of the Pocket 3. My shoulder's hurting. I gotta put this away. But another major upside of the Pocket 3 is it's super easy to just, you know, it, it's super lightweight, super easy to hold. Uh, even if you do go to the gym and lift weights like I do, that Sony ZV-E1 
even though it's a lightweight full frame camera, it's still four times, five times heavier than this. And it's bulkier too. This thing you can jam in your pocket. I would always kind of put it in a put it in a backpack or a jacket pocket, but you can break off the break off the handle. I like vlogging with the handle. So far so good. Enjoying it so far. We're gonna do a low light test right now. I'm gonna walk through this passage and let's see how it's also pretty loud too. So let's see how the see how the camera does in a low light setting. DJI Pocket 3 on the right, iPhone 15 Pro over here. Which one's better? Is there a big difference? Again, this is the worst camera on the uh, iPhone 15 Pro, the front-facing camera. This would be pretty interesting. Audio test two. Nice and loud. Check this out. Face track is something I thought would be very gimmicky but I think this is pretty good. Pretty good. I, I feel like I have a Southern accent when I say, that was pretty good. The DJI Pocket 3, not bad. I like how inconspicuous it is. I mean, so is this thing. Phone's inconspicuous as well, but it's nice to use a focused product. See, I always see this. I always see this riding the train. It's the same color as my Wabi Thunder. Let's see if this thing's following me. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Yeah, it's still looking at me. Won't keep its eyes off me, huh? Let's see. Not really sure what I'm doing. <laughs> The weird thing is when you're holding this thing and you bend it, it's kind of like it has its own head and it's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's pretty weird. Uh, this, this microphone connected right up. I paired it before. So it's definitely pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of people that just uh, hold the microphones and talk to it. I'd always rather just, well, honestly, I like clipping it under my shirt. Let me show you what I do. Let me show you what I do. I just clip it like that. Because now you can't see it. You can just see a little dot. Uh, and it's it's pretty, pretty, pretty unobtrusive. But yeah. All right. Time to go. And it keeps face track too. I'm still on the, still got the microphone going. I guess we'll see if this is uh, we'll see if this is worth it. That's another big W for the pocket three, pocket three, because with the phone, with the iPhone, and I'd imagine with Android phones, you need to either use the dock, which is not a big deal, but it's just something else you got to do. Forget about using Bluetooth. It's just too many clicks. You got to click five, spend five minutes setting it up. Uh, this. You pair it up at your house and you can turn it off, turn it on, and there you go. Matter of fact, I just turned it off, right? Now let's, let's count and see how long it's gonna take to turn it back on. Ready? Turning it on. There's the vibration, one, 1,000, two, 1,000. Boom, two seconds. How easy is that? How easy is that? How easy is that? How easy? I just say the same thing over and over and over again sometimes. But uh, yeah, this thing's it's pretty interesting. So far, it's fun. So far, pretty fun. So yeah, major, major W is how easy this sinks. And you can just keep the microphone under your shirt if you have the DJI mic too, or if you got the creator combo. I didn't get the creator combo. 
since I already had the mic two set with the two transmitters and one receiver. That is how good, that's a major win. I always have problems connecting the mic two to my action four. I had to reconnect it. it, it just was not worth it. I'd rather just honestly do a voice recording with my phone like this if I want to record something far away. Uh, and I found that the audio on that one is actually pretty good. But uh, major W, I was not expecting for this. Yeah, when you bend it, it's like, it's like someone's like, mmm, it's like, it's like it's keeping its head like, it's like, oops, gimbal endpoint reached. Did it lose me? Yeah, it lost me. We broke it. We broke it. What happened? What happened? There we go. Let's see if we can do that again. Yep, there we go. So if you keep it, if you keep it to, uh, and now the thing is freaking crooked. It's freaking crooked. The camera snob in me doesn't want to like this. It wants to see this as a, a, a toy, silly product, but the main thing, the deciding factor for me, and the deciding factor for you in getting anything, whether it's cameras, shoes, bikes, glasses, shirts, backpacks, What's the experience like when you're actually using it? And for me, I gotta say, so far, experience, pretty good, pretty good. It's, uh, it's nice to not just have to use my phone for everything, although the phone can do everything. So first impressions using this thing, definitely fun. It is very fun. We'll see how the footage looks when I. We'll see how the footage looks when I put it into Final Cut. I'm sure it'll look great. It seems like it has that smartphone-esque feature where it'll expose for the sky, but it'll also expose for me as well. I really like that look. I know some people don't like that look. I think that's a great look because it just makes it just makes it more real, real to life. You know, we don't. Human beings don't have exposure that's either for the sky or for, you know, the people. Like right now, this looks very real to life as far as what I'm seeing. And I'm on the normal color profile. I'm not in, I don't need to film and log or anything like that. D-log, whatever they want to call it. But uh, first impressions, a lot of fun. Uh, this camera is really good at walking and talking like this. Really good at capturing some B-roll really good, very lightweight, uh, and some of the features that I thought were gimmicky, like the face tracking is actually pretty decent, very decent, pretty cool. Now, obviously the cons are very delicate compared to an action camera or an iPhone with a case. Zero water resistance, not even if it's raining, can't take it out in the rain at all. Sony ZV-1 I've taken out in the rain and snow, not the E1, the small point and shoot. So those are going to be the those are gonna be the disadvantages. Now, one other thing I wanted to test out, and we've pretty much been testing out, but the wind is blowing and it reminds me of it. How does the normal audio do in the wind? This is the normal audio. I wanna see if you didn't wanna deal with hooking the microphone up, right? How does it sound? I do have wind reduction on though. And the angle, uh, you can get a wide angle lens adapter anywhere. I'm happy with the 20. Anyway, the wind noise, the audio. This is what it sounds, but again, link it up. Turn your microphone on, keep a clip to your shirt. Two seconds, boom, there we go. Check it out. How easy is that? Now, you could probably be at a, I don't know. You can be at a really noisy place and you'll be good. So that's, that's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting that. Wasn't expecting that. So, first impressions actually using this thing. Better than expected. Bottom line is, is it fun to use? That is loud. 
Good thing we're using the external mic. Uh, yeah, so first impressions, this thing is pretty fun, to, very fun to use. We will have to see, have to take it, we'll have to see how it actually, just the experience of using it. So far, so good. So far, so great, actually. And I was very, very skeptical about this thing. Still am. But uh, yeah. See you next time. And uh, thanks for watching. How do I, do I just hit the gimbal? I guess so. Let's try it. Thanks for watching.